I want to thank you again for putting faith in me, for putting faith in us, and for believing that what so many said was not possible could be done. It was a nail biter of a race <laughs> all the way down to the very end, yeah. um, but we pulled it off. This is no sleepy primary day in the Commonwealth. Major upsets in Virginia's 12th and 13th districts as incumbents Joe Morrissey and Amanda Chase are ousted. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Julie Bragg. We have team coverage tonight on both major upsets. Our Maggie Marshall spoke with Glenn Sturdivant about his win. But we start with our Jake Burns, who Joe Bar Morrissey just told after his loss that he is done with politics. Jake. Yeah, Bill, that's what he told us right after he conceded. The Morrissey La Charisse aired race was one of the most closely watched primaries in the entire Commonwealth because of what it could mean and the result of it could mean for Virginia Democrats moving forward. The party inside the local Electrical Workers Union Hall started early for La Charisse Aird's team, now the Democratic nominee in State Senate District 13. She defeats Senator Joe Morrissey, knocking Fighting Joe out of Virginia politics via primary. And it is a testament to our community and our Commonwealth that I'm standing here on this stage. But again, this victory is not just mine because this victory is only the beginning of what we will do together. Aired thanked her family, the progressive groups and workers unions that backed her, and women legislators who supported Aired over Morrissey, who self-describes as pro-life. Never in the history has it ever been done that the women in elected office rebuke a colleague, but it had to be done. Democrats were closely watching this race as Aired pledged to protect reproductive freedom, a message they expect to be central to the fall campaign after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade almost a year ago. I stand before you and commend to not only fight to protect, to protect our reproductive rights, but all of those things that I talked about, our schools, our communities, making every single family feel valued. They deserve that. This will be the power of electing responsible leadership. That is what it will look like. I want to first of all congratulate my opponent and her family. We spoke to Joe Morrissey on the phone and he says with quote 100 percent certainty this election will be his final one. And I'm moving on to my next chapter in my life. I want to be a full time dad and coach all my kids. You never quit. You never give up. But at the end, it, you know, it's always in God's hands. And that's how I feel. So um, I take solace in the fact that we got a lot accomplished, ending the death penalty, abolishing solitary confinement, doubling the number of mental health pockets. Most of the other Democratic primaries here in Central Virginia were uneventful. Lamont Bagby, Dolores McQuinn both won their primaries rather easily. The other race that was closely watched in Central Virginia was a Senate district based out of Chesterfield and Colonial Heights, specifically the Republicans running in that district. Glenn Sturdivant taking down State Senator Amanda Chase in that race, it does appear. Our Maggie Marshall's been following that race all night long, and she joins us live now. Hi, Maggie. Hey, Jake. Well, they really called this a nail biter. Glenn Sturdivant says he's excited to be able to represent the Republican Party in November. When he got here, he got here just as the race was being called and his supporters were cheering for him and chanting his name. Sturdivant is a lawyer and he also served in the General Assembly as a senator for four years as over District 10. He lost the election um, back in 2019. Now, Sturdivant says if elected, he wants to focus on school choice and dealing with COVID learning loss, as well as increasing support for police, working to keep crime down and making the area more affordable. It's about all of us Republicans coming together and working together uh, to win back the state Senate, to hold the House of Delegates, and to work together with Governor Yunkin to get Virginia back on a common sense conservative path again. Sort of event beat out incumbent Amanda Chase and Tina Ramirez. Chase held the seat for eight years and called herself a disruptor to the political establishment. She says this race was interesting because of the fact that three people were up against each other. Record so she was out fundraised for the election by both challengers.
we work for the people. We don't work for politicians. We don't work for the, the lobbyist or the PAC community. And so it's very difficult whenever you have that much money coming against you. And Chase posted a statement on her social media saying that she has not conceded, but plans to make a statement tomorrow. Sort event will go up against Democrat Nathan McKenzie in November. Live in Chesterfield, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.